Okay, I am craving some balut. I got the stove on. Oh, I got it on the wrong one. Go ahead and turn this on. Okay, go in the fridge. Grab the balut. It's a duck egg. Go ahead and pop it in, pop it in. You don't need to have it submerged. My wife likes to put pepper, a, a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Great value, not too much. And she does put a little bit of onion in it, but I don't have the time to do that. So I'm going to put some garlic sauce, garlic pepper in there. Garlic seasoning. A little. You don't need a bunch. And let it, let it come up to a boil. And let it soak. You don't need a lot of a lot of water in it. While my wife is cooking the balut, before it comes up to a boil, she loves to put a little bit of vin a little bit of vinegar. She has it in, a, in a, uh, a wine bottle with a bunch of jalapenos and a bunch of other spices in it. So hopefully I can open this. Yeah, I can. Okay. Open it up and pour it a little in this container. Not too much. My wife will get mad. Okay. Put the lid back on. This is some spicy uh, vinegar. I love this stuff. I pretty much eat, uh, use it for everything I eat. I love this stuff. How my wife innovates it with uh, regular bottles and right now it's just plain vinegar and whatever else is in this stuff so what I usually do I grab the salt and pour a little bit of salt pour a little bit of salt in it you don't need much Put that back and then I mix it up. I stir it. Okay, bullet takes anywhere from 30, 30 minutes to cook. So you need to make sure it's cooked all the way. If not, you're going to have some bad tasting duck. So you need to have it cooked for at least 30 minutes whenever you are, whenever you think it's done. Go ahead and grab you a spoon. Okay, that's a fork. That's a spoon, okay. Grab you a spoon. Go ahead and grip the egg. Whenever you see the egg has no moisture on it, it is done. But right now it's not done. It hasn't even been 30 minutes yet. I'll come back in 30 minutes and see how it tastes. Okay, my egg is still cooking. The reason why I'm cooking it 
is because my wife is sleeping. Should I bother her or not? Uh, I say I should. I should bother her. She is asleep. She is woken up by the light. And she's telling me, what am I doing? I love her so much. And going back to my... What? I'm going back to my egg that I'm cooking. My bullet. I love you. I love you. Okay, she's not going to answer me because she is asleep. Okay, going back over to my eggs, see what it's doing. Okay, it's still cooking. Okay, you take a spoon and see if there is no kind of moisture on the egg. Uh, I don't see any, but I'm going to leave it in for an another... Mm, I don't know how long she puts it, how long she cooks this egg for. In the Philippines, they cook it, they say they cook it for at least 30 minutes. In the Philippines. Mm, I say it's done, but I'm going to go ahead and wait another five, five minutes. Let's see if it dries really quick. Uh, no, I don't see it drying quick. That's how they test it in the Philippines. If they if it dries really quick, then it's done. I mean, it dried quick, but not quick enough. It's supposed to it's supposed to dry as soon as you take it out of the egg. As soon as you you take it out of the pot. Okay. You roll it around for a few minutes. And then take it out. If it's still wet, it's not done yet. And I can see, and you can see, that it's still wet. It's supposed to dry instantly. So it's not done. See, it's now... The moment I put it back in... It was, it was dry. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it in there for another, uh, I say about five minutes. Okay, we're here about five minutes later. I'm gonna take the spoon, grab the egg, and soon as I take it out, it's gonna dry out. That's how you know it's done. Okay. I'm going to put it back in there. I'm going to roll it around. Go ahead and turn off the, the stove. And let it just boil. Let it cool off. Go ahead and grab me a plate. And, uh, grab a regular plate. My wife is not going to be mad because it's going to be clean as soon as she gets up. There goes her her coffee that she did not drink at all. And there's a little bit of spillage. Ah. Oh well. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab the egg. It's a little... It's a little still hot so I'm going to grab the egg hopefully I don't drop it this is going to be very bad if I drop it go over here place it on the plate the stove is off so we're good we're, we're good go ahead and take my vinegar 
place it over by the egg. And you know that spoon that I, that I used? It's very useful. Go ahead and take the pot off the hot stove and place it over here. So it cools down faster because this is very hot. Okay. I'm craving balut for some reason. Okay. This is how you eat it. Okay. This is how you eat it. Okay. It's going to be still hot, so let me get comfortable. You take the, you take this end right here. Whoo, it's still hot. Okay, let me get, you take the, oops, you take the side up and crack it. Whoo, it's still hot. Oh my goodness, it's still hot. Okay. I uh, might have to take a break for a few minutes and let it cool down. Okay. Whenever it's cooled off, you take it from this end, the top, and break it. Take your spoon or your strong hand and beat on it. Just crush it. And you're going to see some kind of stuff coming out. I don't think that's normal. Go ahead and break it apart. Wait. I think I crushed it out of the wrong end. Let me see. Yeah, I crushed it on the wrong end. Okay. Yeah, I crushed it on the wrong end. The top, do not crush it on the the top end. Crush it on the bottom. Sorry, YouTube. Okay, break it apart. Enough where you can not taste the, the shell. And go ahead and dip it in some vinegar. I'm going to put it in some vinegar and pretty much drink it like a, like a shot. Tastes like a boiled egg. This is my maybe sixth, sixth time having a boiled egg. And there goes my wife. She is up. I, I guess she heard me talking about Balut. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it up. You see how... You see how it looks. I don't even know what type of egg that is. But there's veins and stuff around it but it but it, it is good dip it in some vinegar to slow down the taste i i guess that's what they do in the philippines and just mow down on it That's pretty good. Tastes like a boiled egg. And some of it just fell off. That tastes like a boiled egg. Yep. That tastes like a boiled egg. Okay, the, for, for the rest of it, you just put it in some vinegar.
it's very good. Some guy, some guy um, dropped in the vinegar. vinegar. And it's overtaking my um, my breath. Oop! I just dropped that. Okay, this part right here is gonna take the is gonna feel like a gristle. It's gonna feel like a, dr a gristle, but it's much better than a gristle. It's really hard. But it's really good. Dip it in some vinegar. It, it, the texture, it feels like a gristle, but it's not. It tastes better than a gristle. Go ahead and take, put it in some uh, vinegar that my wife makes, and go ahead and sh shove it in your mouth. It's not bad whenever you start licking your lips. That's that is blood, the native um, delicacy in the Philippines. Mm. 